repeat or say anything concerning it anymore. I am the man of this house and I take charge. Did you hear that? Oh, I... Don't ever discuss it. Chief, I completely disagree with that. You can't take such decision in this house without consulting anyone. For Christ said that you are the man of this house is not in dispute. I agree to that. But you must also understand one thing, that I am also the woman of this house. So you see that, let this man see once after What? Get, get. Where are we now? I'm going to kill you one day. So you've grown wings. You talk when I talk right now, right? I am warning you. I am warning you, Alice. Don't ever try it next time. You don't talk when I am talking. Did you hear that? What do you do with your hand? Go ahead and hit me. Hit me. If you want, I will hit you. Go ahead. Don't hit me. Don't drag that rubbish before me. Then you tell people that you're hitting your wife because I am telling you the truth. What nonsense truth are you telling me? What nonsense truth, Alice? Now listen to me. You don't talk when I am talking. Let me not see you repeat this thing again. Otherwise, you are going to re regret the day you decided to marry me. Uh, now get out. Get out of me. Judge. Said my own. Dad. Yes. I was rusticated from six American universities because I, I won't take shit from nobody. Not even my departmental heads, my HODs. No. I don't take shit from nobody. I did not call you here for us to talk about your past that is mired with negativism. I am looking into the future. That's why I called you here, so that you and I can discuss way forward. Well, I like the coinage, the way forward. So what you want to talk about? There's a girl that I want you to meet. The reason I want you to meet this girl is because I want you to marry this girl. <laughs> oh my God, that's, that's funny. You're kidding me. No, I'm telling you the truth. Tell me you're not serious. <sighs> Duncan. You are still suffering from Western hangover. And I've come to the conclusion that the only way to solve the problem is to find your real African woman as wife. I think it's madness on the part of parents to want to decide their children's marital choice. Yeah, I see it in African movies, in Hollywood stuff, and I think it's bullshit. I mean, it's, it's, it's mundane. Duncan, I am not going to deviate to nonsense. The girl's name is Seneca, the only daughter of Chief Mili of the City of Light, the biggest contractor that we have in the Aviation Ministry. I want you to forget everything that you've watched in the movies. Carry out introspection on yourself, and you'll find out that the woman that I found for you, that you're really, really going to need her. She will make you start thinking like an African, a true son of the soil. Darling, guess what? She will make an essay. You're serious, ain't you? But I won't take this bullshit. I call it bull crap. Nobody decides my marital status. You talk to your son. Honey, mm -hmm. don't worry. Hmm? One thing we cannot do is to allow him dictate the pace here. Honey. He is going to marry that girl. That will be the only best thing that can happen in his life. There's no two words about it. Now we'll make it happen. So relax. You get that right. Mm -hmm. Only thing that comes to my mind now is to give myself to you. If I can give myself to you, I'll never take it back. Why are you sounding this way? You've proved to be a man in every definition. I stand here proud as a woman, undefiled, because of you. You saved me from the hands of hawks who wanted to take away my pride as a woman. And even when I was weak and vulnerable, you never took advantage of me. How do I ever say thank you, Kenny? How? The truth is that you shouldn't. You see, I was trained by music masters, and they believe music is a she. 
as a music master, you have to have undiluted respect for a woman. I've never molested a woman before. And I, in turn, can lay down my own life to see that a woman is not molested. I'm sorry, Frank. I would not want to be provoked. I'm a man of many sides. And I got friends all over the world. And they know me as a man of action. Man of my words. Okay? I opened this topic. And right now, I want this topic closed. I'm no more interested. And Duncan. If you think I am going to end this topic in a hurry, you're simply deceiving yourself. Do you realize I'm the one that brought you here? I brought you here to buy the drinks. Do you realize that? So then what? If you think you're not going to pay for this drink you bought me simply because I told you the truth, then you can forget about it. I can foot it now. can take care of it. I'm big enough to handle whatever I consume. So what's the nonsense you call the truth? Good. The obvious truth which you call nonsense is that Chief Millie is a man known by all. I know how one and only Duncan See, Duncan, if your father has finalized and perfected his plans for you to marry Chief Millie's daughter, then you should see your father as the best father in the whole world. I can't believe you're sounding this way, Frank. Why should I see him that way? When he had usurped my, my human rights, my right to choose my own kind of woman, my right to choose my wife, and you want me to idolize him? If you do understand, you simply go home and doff your cap for your father because he has settled for the best. See, Neka is the summation of an African woman. If you get to marry this girl, trust me, every new day of your life stands to be celebrated. And you're sounding like my parents had hired you to continue from where they stopped. Now listen to me. This man is too big to be humbled by any form of empty words or unfounded flatteries, okay? I got sense, I know what to do, man. Ego, pride, arrogance, that's what you're simply exhibiting. But Duncan, if I were you, I would simply mellow down and check out this girl that my parents have found for me. If you meet Nick, trust me, your total psych and understanding will change. She is original, she is pure, and she is down to earth. Why don't you check her out, man? My biggest problem now is that my father is appealing to sentiments. Sentiments? How do you mean sentiments? Come on, Ego. You won't understand how close my father and I are. There's practically nothing I have begged him for that he hasn't done. And then now he feels it's payback time. My mother even said he'll feel terrible if he finds out I don't like his taste. I mean, she said turn him down or break his heart. That is appealing to sentiments, and I hate sentiments. I want to believe that the only reason you're telling me this is because you see me as your best friend and you trust me. And I am going to give you the same advice I would have given myself. What's the advice? I want you to get to see this Duncan guy. See him first. You cannot call it sentiments until you've seen him. That is going to be difficult. I am so in love with Kenny. There's no point seeing this Duncan guy. I'm glad you used the word difficult, not impossible. See, come on, it's going to be childish for you to even say it is impossible. Get to see Duncan first and, you know, see if you like anything about him. Why isn't anybody asking how Kenny is going to feel if I leave him now? I mean, aren't you bothered about how he's going to feel? Kenny, 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 Kenny. The mere fact that he has not said anything tangible to you for this long period of time is enough to show that he is not thinking about the future and can equally pass as a playboy. Now, I totally disagree with you on that. Kenny is bothered about my future. He's so bothered about my future, else he wouldn't be giving me the kind of tangible advice he gives to me. He is bothered about my future. I'll give you one advice. Do not put all your savings in one bank. Come and get to see Duncan. You may get to like him, and you will not know when someone slips a ring on your finger. Chief Emily Diobo called me. 
What do I care who calls you? I mean, was that why you called me? He wants to know how far we've gone with the, um, the wedding preparation and I wasn't able to say anything. So how does that concern me? Imagine a world with her. You? She will give you peace. That girl will redefine your life. Look into my eyes and realize that I am still your mother. I want the best for you. The very best. Deceiving my friend, and I want to know why. And which friend are we talking about here? Neka, you do not love her. You're just playing games with her, and I want to know why. Did Neka send you here, or you came on your own accord? Kenny, I want you to tell me the truth. You've been dating her for years now and you've never said anything tangible to her. You don't love her. Why are you doing all this? Why have you refused to encourage me like a friend? That's exactly what I'm doing. Look, you and Neka are from two separate worlds. She's from a socialite family. Her father is among the the, the bush world. And you, you are nothing. Your family is relatively unknown. My friend, we advise you, leave that girl alone. Now why would you be asking me to leave a girl I told you I love with all my heart? Have you proposed to her? Well, no, because the opportunity hasn't presented itself. That right opportunity will never present itself. Never, because you don't have what it takes to get her. Look, assume that you are a magician. You manage to get her to be your wife. What happened to her parents? They will never allow you to be their son-in-law. I ask you again, please leave that girl alone and find yourself another girl, a girl of your class. Jones, why are you asking me to do the impossible? No, tell me. You love her, right? Of course I do. You see, the socialites don't talk of love. All they do is they consume with the struggle of class maintenance. Look, if you want to live in peace, my brother, leave the socialites, the, 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 the aristocrats, the, the bourgeois. Leave them alone. Let them wallow, wallow in their in the vanity. They don't have time for common men. Leave them alone. Have. Your face betrays you. You don't love her. Um, Ego. You see, your lack of information only leaves you with one option. You and speculation. Yes, that's what I'm facing here. You're speculating because you don't know what is actually going on. Well, that is why I abandoned everything I had to do today. To come to this studio to find out from you. 
What is going on? Look, go. Here you go. Do me this favor. Leave me to handle my woman. Okay? I met her, fell in love with her, and she has proved to be the center of my life. So my advice to you is this. You go home. Handle your own man. I've got more to do at this stage. She looks original, pure, down to her too. Those talent qualities. Like I am going to be my wife. Hmm? Do you agree? Say yes or no. You're staring at me as if you don't believe me. And I don't like that. Ego, why would you go to the studio to see him? Why? Because I'm your best friend and I want the best for you. I want to be very sincere with you. You are poking your nose into my business and I don't like it at all. Well, you can call it whatever you want. But seriously, I'm going to tell you what I found out. Kenny doesn't love you. He has no plans for you. Do you realize what you're saying? Do you realize you're talking about someone who risked his own life to save mine? Why on earth would he say he doesn't love me? Neka, surrender under the supremacy of your father and marry the man he has found for you. I'm going to ask you a direct question. Why on earth do you want me to marry somebody I don't even know? If you marry Kenny, if you disobey your father and marry Kenny, when you get into trouble, he will leave you alone to face the trouble on your own. But if you marry the man he has found for you, when, when trouble comes, he will stand beside you like a rock. He will see you through it all, even in the deadliest problems. Think about it. You are no one without your father. Think. Yes, we enjoyed ourselves thoroughly. Okay, that means everything is okay. Yes, oh, yes. Nice. it is excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chief, this is time we get down to specifics. Hmm? Yeah, here is um, a check for 50 million naira. Please accept it as my candid token. Mm -hmm. For the contract you awarded. 50 million naira. I am impressed with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Mm. You know? Yes. This is the very first time any contractor is giving me a feedback. Oh, really? Yes, indeed. <laughs> See, I have uh, accepted that as my standard uh, practice. Because I believe that uh, men that signed contracts for contractors must be offered a kickback. That's the way to keep the engine running. <laughs> I am beginning to think a whole lot. What? Thanks, yes. What? Since you could give me 50 million naira on a contract of 1 billion naira, what would you do when I assign you a multi billion naira? <laughs> Wow. Of course, you will always count on me. <laughs> oh, yes, you will count on me. You see, I believe that um, we are already one family. As long as your son will marry my daughter. Hmm? I'm already seeing you that way. Because I am going to watch your back while you will really watch my own back. <laughs> <laughs> I am very, very happy. <laughs> it's all right. Um, see me in my office tomorrow. I have a contract on my table. I know you would like to consider it. Mm. It is big. Mm. Very, very big. <laughs> I like to hear that. <laughs> I know you'll be the one. Tomorrow? Come to me. I'll be there tomorrow. What time in the afternoon? Two o'clock. Expect me at two o'clock. Okay. Mm. <laughs> saying he's not the one for me. Because you get another brother that you have for me. Because saying Papa get money, you know send what I want to. All you care about, now what thing you go get from this man? No. Now bad guys don't show. Now who they my side? Now my guy you. Child. Bad guys don't show. Say now who they my side? Oh. Now my guy you. Bad guys. Don't show. Tell me where your guy nowhere no. to be found. No. Bad guys, bad guys. Don't show. Tell me where your guy is. nowhere to be found. No. Money can't. Good day, oh. How are you? I'm fine. I got very no vest. Chief no, chief no day. I'm not looking for chief. Okay, you want to see madam? Madam no day. You don't come out. What's your name? My name is Naimeka Kwediki, the chief security of this house. I'm not here to see your chief, yeah. nor your madam. I'm here to see Neka. Okay. No, no verse. I like with that one. See, see, is what I don't they want for, for this house. No man don't come see Auntie Neka for house. I like you. I don't know if you believe that one. Do you know why no man had ever come to visit her here? Yeah, I don't know that one. That's because she's waiting for her right full husband. Now go inside and tell Neka that don't can it. Her husband is outside waiting. We don't mean it. I go to that So, assuming everything works out, what kind of wedding are you planning for your daughter? I think we should wait and make sure that everything works out between your son and my daughter before we go into proper wedding planning. See, but, but if you want me to be specific about the whole thing, I'll tell you that um, we are going to have, um, or we are going into a very big society wedding. I think of flying to Paris with your daughter for the wedding shopping. How do you see that? That's a novel idea. But to tell you the truth, mm -hmm. my daughter will not like it. Why? She will see it as waste of resources. You see, she has done it to me a couple of times, but I'm used to her style now. So if you tell her you're going to take her out for shopping, she will see it as a complete waste of fund. Do you know something? All that would change as soon as she married my son. Because we are going to expose her to excess money. She will see the stupidity of trying to save. She will begin to spend money. You know what I mean. And you know what that means. Looking prettier every day just for my son. I have a pretty daughter already. That means 
beefing her up, making her look more pretty, you know. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <sighs> Hello? I'm still at home. Yeah, I'm already at the hotel. What are you still doing at home? You're sounding as if you're angry. Of course I am not angry, and I don't have any reason to be angry. Uh, I'm aware that your husband is out of town, and uh, I am compelled to believe that um, you have all the time to meet me where I want you to meet me. I'm happy you know that. I'll call you back. And who is there with you? I mean, be sincere to yourself. Who is there with you right now? <clears throat> okay. I am here with one of my female friends. Her name is Madam Alice, the wife of Umili Diobu. My son is going to marry her daughter and we are planning the wedding. Sorry for the interruption. I'll wait for your call then. Okay then. Bye. Alice, who will she be doing with her? So, Let's talk. But if you ask me, my dear, it seems as if you are so uncomfortable with the caller. Oh, that. She's just one of our family friends who is always looking for what she will get from me and she wouldn't want me to get anything from her. I hate such lousy friends. Not to worry. So, what are we going to wear? Are we going to be on uniform or...? Are you trying to tell me? But you don't have a woman in your life at all. At all? Well, it sounds incredible, but that's the truth. I've been over myself since I came back from the States. Tell me, Duncan. I hear you aren't working for now. How do you survive? My father. Well, my father is the president and CEO of Wells Airline. And I'm a director in the company. And that permits me to, once in a while, conduct supervision on our facilities. And that's how I pay my bills. That's how I make my, my little money. I know what our parents are planning. I see you as a well-traveled gentleman. And I assume that you're extremely principled. Tell me honestly. What do you think about me? This is you. My mother gave me this picture. And I think you're awesome. Really? Awesome. It sounds funny, but that's the truth. My mother says you're the best. And my father describes you as um, let me use his right words. As a decorum that de no, a decorum that characterizes a true African woman. My friend says you're pure, original, and down to earth. And I think that's too awesome for just one lady. I'm with you right here, and I think you're, you're tremendously unique. You honestly can pass by port any time. I'm stating the obvious. I love poems and I've written a couple of poems. That was quite brilliant of you. How did you pick that? Let's get to the fundamentals. Tell me, do you honestly think that you and I can be Man and wife? Absolutely. An exceptional African woman. And I think I'm okay. It all lies in your hands to say, yes, and you'll be my wife. Tell me, Duncan, how would you have felt if I told you that I have a man in my life already? <laughs> that's quite tricky, very tricky. You see, uh, I know that's a lie. Permit me to say I've been investigating you. 
and forgive your gate man for saying that in six years he's never seen a guy come to see you in the house. And I know there's no way you you could be out in or dating a guy and he won't get to visit you in return. So I know that's not possible. I believe him. I He's the one calling me. Hello. Yeah, Neka. The state of my finances has refused to improve. And as such, I have this frustrating feeling that you and I might never end up as husband and wife. So I want you to know that you have left a serious mark in my heart. I can never forget you, Neka. Kenny, why are you talking this way? Your father called me. He did? How did he get your number? Neka, your father is a millionaire. And he can spend whatever amount of money he wants just to gain the information he needs. Your father called me and warned me to stay away from you. What did you tell him? <laughs> Naka, who am I to exchange words with Chief Emily? Who am I? Well, he kept shouting and I did the honorable thing by listening. Kenny, you have to be strong. Things will certainly not end up like this. God, Neka, Neka, Neka. Three consecutive times. Three consecutive times I... I dreamt you had a wedding. Big societal wedding. People and politicians who mattered in this town came to that wedding. But the wedding wasn't with me. So, Neka, <laughs> I've lost hope. Stop talking like a child, Kenny. I am in my father's house. I'm not getting married to anybody. <sighs> oh, God, Neka, you and I know your future is tied up with someone else. I just go to tell you that I'm bowing out honorably. But know this. I love you more than words could ever utter. Bye, Neka. Can you... I'm sorry. That's all right. Very all right. Neka. Permit me to be your pillar of support. I've seen rare potentials in you. I mean a rare virtue to come by an African woman. Permit me to be your husband. You said everybody saying he's not the one for me. Because you get another brother that you have for me. Remove your glass. <laughs> your phone. Remove your cup, now. For what? Please don't start. I don't want to touch your cup. Just remove it. <laughs> All right. You know this is not right. What is not right? It's not right. Yeah, Remember, no. I'm a chief. Not just a chief, but chief. Mm. of the city of light. 
<laughs> and um, if I should do anything with another man's wife, mm -hmm. definitely it must be discreet, right? Oh yes, if I must do or have an affair with another man's wife, mm -hmm. it should be discreet. You know that it is not proper that it is done in your matrimonial home. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Why are you talking like this? My husband is in far away Spain with Mr. President. I already know. Duncan that. is nowhere to be found. We are all alone in this house. I so just relax. I agree, but I can't stop him any time. We will be snappy. See there. Mm. Do not forget how voracious you are when it comes to love. Life. And you're not. You are shouting. Let me remove your shoe. <laughs> 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 Hello, Vest. Is it okay? Come. You lied to me when you said she never had a visitor. There is this guy called Kenny, and she loves him so dearly. Now, swear with your life that you never seen this guy around here before. Swear. Okay, no vest. But Kenny, now just, now just ordinary friend, and just ordinary person, just like me. You don't get anything. Just small musician wasted the struggle to, to, to make it. Can you not get anything to do with Madame at all? No verse. Do you have his address? Address? We got no verse. I don't get him. But wait, I go tell you, say, if you go to any major studio for this town, you go see him. Or if, even if you go to studio, if you see anybody, we go take you to a house. If you see the guy, he love now music. As you see him, so you don't see music. We got no verse. If you see him, now music. We got no verse. Well, thank you very much, okay? Very good guy. You're truthful. I like truthful people. You said everybody's saying he's not the one for me. Because you get another brother that you have. I saw the state of the art wedding invitation card that has been circulated for your daughter's wedding, and uh, I came to congratulate you on the choice. You see, getting married to the only son of Chiba Dolphus in Weze is not an easy thing. <laughs> that is one part. The other part is that they also getting married to the only daughter of Chief Mili of the City of Light. It's not an easy thing. You see, my dear, it took the two families time to sit down together and get things done rightfully. Mm. The most important thing right now is that my daughter is getting married. The date has been fixed. That's all. Come. How were you able to get Kenny out of the picture? My sister. That wasn't easy at all. Do you know that at a point my husband wanted to unleash the army against the young man? Really? <laughs> it took the grace of God and his wisdom to discourage my husband from doing that. But thank God, at least for now, Kelly is out of my little girl's life. Yes. She's getting married. That's the most important one, and I'm so happy about that. To Duncan Iweze. I'm happy, I'm happy to you. I'm happy for you. Thank you, my dear. I'm coming. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, ma'am. I, I, I was wondering if I could speak with uh, Nick on your phone. Call her directly on her line. She's in her room upstairs. Um, it's been permanently busy. I've tried a million times, you know. I don't know what's going on. But I'm sure she must have been on an international call. Why not call her much later? I'm sure she will be so excited to hear your voice. Okay. I promise you that. <laughs> okay, noted. In case you need anything, do not hesitate to call me. That's the voice of my honorable and able son-in-law. Don't worry, your mother-in-law-to-be will call you as soon as We've been on this call for almost an hour. I believe you're not happy with me and that makes me restless. Naka, I don't want you to see it that way. Seriously, I am not angry. I mean, 
The same way your family told you to stay away from me is the same way my family and friends have asked me to stay away from you as well. They believe we belong to two different divides of this world. You gave me your word. You promised to stand by me. That is why I agreed to the wedding. Neka, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I can never turn my back on you. Right? But no matter where you settle with your husband, just know that you always have a big room in my heart. I want to ask you for a favor. I told everybody that you're the best. And I'm sure they're going to be expecting you to be exceptional. Neka. If it's a favor I can do, consider it done. They will pay you 400,000 naira. I want you to be the master of ceremony at my wedding. <laughs> Kenny? Kenny, are you there? Yes, uh, I'm still here. I can never drop the phone on you. <sighs> Thank you. Please, will you do this for me? Will you be the master of ceremony at my wedding reception? That will make me very happy. Look, Neka, only yesterday your father called me, warned and threatened me to emphatically stay away from you. Now don't you think he'll be the last man to watch me be the MC at his daughter's wedding? Leave my father out of this. You're doing this for me. Please. I want you to be the master of ceremony at my wedding as to make you the happiest woman on earth. <sighs> All right, I'll do it, but I don't want to be paid. No, I will not allow them use you for free. If 400,000 naira is too small, then I'll ask them to make it 500,000 naira. They'll do anything I ask. Naka, money is not the issue here, okay? The most important thing is your happiness and I am committed to your happiness. So I don't want to be paid a cent to make you happy. I love you. Distance call. I just run it off and I saw you miss calls. Sorry. Uh, no problem. Uh, I was actually trying to find out if your your finalized your arrangement with the MC that you promised. Are you okay? But why are you sounding like you've been running? <laughs> you right. I'm actually exercising. Exercising. At this time. Oh, come on. Keeping fit is not a main fit, okay? It has no time lapse, okay? I love exercising, baby. Huh? Well, yes, I, I have rounded up on the MC arrangement. Kenny will do it for free. Why do you choose Kenny? Why would Kenny be my MC? Because he's the best. Why go for another when you can have the best? No, I'm not comfortable with that. I'm not. Trust me on this one. Kenny is a professional. He's handled big society weddings. I wouldn't have gone for him if he doesn't know what he's doing. All right. You win. I lose. I'll call you at night when I get back, okay? All right. Bye. Bye bye. Okay. And who was that? Your wife? I don't have a wife yet, okay? I'm not yet married. Anyway, can we go back to business? What nonsense business? You didn't tell me you were getting married. Hey, come, what's wrong with all you girls in this city of light? Why, why do you think every man that wants to have a fling with you must marry you? Really? So what do you take me for? Your sex machine? Why didn't the man that ruined your virginity marry you? Huh? Should I tell you what I know now? You are not worthy to have someone like me. And can I tell you what I know too? You're not as wonderful as any of the girls I've had in this room. So boring. 
Don't make me angry or make me say what I regret. Look, I don't know what is wrong with you. Does it mean you cannot encourage your friend or something? Look, she trusted my competence as a good MC and I agreed to help her. So why are you kicking against it? I'm kicking against it because you are my friend. I will not allow you to go make ridicule of yourself. What do you mean by making a ridicule of myself? Tell me. Does it mean you don't trust me as a good MC? Huh? <laughs> You're not going to the wedding. At least to talk about you're going to be the MC. You're not. Excuse me. Jones, are you the one who's going to stop me? Can't you see? There is an honor grand plan. The want to make nonsense of your integrity. That idiot that is marrying Nega wants you to serve him. And immediately you serve him, it's going to be written in history that you've served him. And what is wrong with me serving him? His father is a servant minister in this country. His family owns Wells Airlines. I don't have anything. So what is wrong with me serving people who are in charge of the finances of this nation? Tell me. You are from a respectable dynasty. Yeah, right. A man like you should not level yourself as seven to, 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 to those idiots. Look, listen to me. Those guys are people that have hijacked the country and have stolen so many billions from, from, from the public treasury. So don't allow yourself to, to, to serve them. Neka has asked me to be her MC. Now, she's the last person I am going to disappoint. Do you understand me? You know, what you're saying doesn't make sense at all. You are saying like she's, she's living in the moon. Is that where she stay? Call her and tell her that you're not going to be the MC. She has all the time in this world to find another MC. Period. Uh, my guy, relax, relax. Look, I'm here to see Nick. Hey. Eh? Seriously, uh, you see, I've been calling her phone, but it's not been going through. That's why I'm here. They went for dinner yesterday and I was told she lost her phone. She just bought her new phone this morning. Ha. Eh, okay, in that case, just give me her new number, eh? No, ha. She's getting married this Saturday. People like you shouldn't have her number. Oh. My guy, what I have to tell Neka concerns her wedding. Please. Nambi said I will give you pen and book so that I will write the message down. Then I will, draw, I will, deliver, I will deliver the message to her. No I'm not going to feel this the new number. No you want me chief give me? No problem. See, now, now chief they come now. Now chief they come. Uh, good day, chief. In one sentence, what are you doing here? Um, sir, I am actually here to see Neka. I can't believe this. Are you not the same idiot that I want not to near my daughter? Um, sir. Huh? Yes. Why would you want to provoke me to the extent of forcing me to send you to prison for illegal uh, invasion? Sir, sir, please. Please, I'm not here to do anything stupid. I just have a message I want to convey to her. That's all, sir. Now shut up and get out of this compound. Get out now! Hey! Uh, sir, seriously, what I have to tell her concerns her wedding. That's that's why I'm here. I say, get out before I lose it. Get out! Don't ever come near this compound again. Who are you? Why did you give him audience? Why? Don't ever try it again. You don't hear me? Yes, I'm not Next time, if I see this boy within these premises, I'm going to skin you alive. My God. You know here. I'm here. If Kia is not faking, I am going to kill that riffraff. And who is a riffraff? Kenny! Can you imagine that that idiot was in my compound discussing with the gate man? Are you serious? Came into this compound? What does he want? He says he has a message for Nega that consents the wedding. Can you imagine the insult? I may be forced to kill that idiot too. Yes! There's a limit to 
to tolerate. There's a limit. Uh, a woman is a mother to a man. A mother will always be a mother. Please, ma, I just need you to act like one to me now. And who is this, if I may ask? This is Kenny speaking, ma. So you have the nerves to call my number. What do you want? Uh, madam, please, please, uh, just, just hear me out. Um, Neka asked me to be the MC during her wedding. Now, I gave her my word that I'll do the job, but on second thought, I don't think it would be a wonderful idea. That's why I have been trying to reach out to her via phone, but her phone hasn't been going through. So, madam, I just need you to help me tell her that uh, she should make alternative arrangements. Now. Kenny, or whatever you're called, I'll talk to you like a mother. I'll give you Neka's new line. Talk to her on one on one. But let me warn you, if you do anything to ruin my daughter's wedding, <laughs> this town will be so small for you. Do you get me? No, no, madam, I, I can't do such a thing. Serious, uh, her happiness is very paramount to me. I can't do anything to ruin her wedding or take away her happiness. Please, madam. Good. I'll text you her new number and have a nice day. Yes, ma. Hello? These are part of the reasons why I said very soon you forget me. Why would you sound that way? Why wouldn't I sound this way? I mean, you got yourself a new phone and you refused to give me your number. Kenny, I'm sorry. You judged me too soon. I honestly was going to call you. Well, uh, anyways, um, I just want to tell you that I can no longer be your MC at your wedding. Why? Why? Is it because I didn't call to give you the new number? Kenny, come on, you're being too harsh on me. Neka, my decision has nothing to do with your getting a new phone or you're not calling me. I just changed my mind because of reasons best known to me, okay? I implore that you just make alternative arrangements, please. <sighs> Kenny, where are you? Well, I'm standing at Pineapple Avenue. Very soon I'll be at City Tavern. I'll meet you at the City Tavern shortly, please. Okay. Everybody saying he's not the one for me Because you get another brother that you have for me Because saying papa get money You know send what I want to All you care about and what thing you go get from this man no. Are you out of your mind? My friend go and open that gate Madam, no, we don't say make our open gate like that now nah. We don't say I'm maybe chief security officer of this place who tell me they go now in case Madame Oga ask? We can know what I go talk. That's why I don't like you. No verse, no verse. I mean now. Nah. I'm going to the city tavern to see my friend. Don't tell anybody where I went to. I'll soon be back. No oh, Allah. Thank you, Madame. <laughs> this guy's love is sweet. <laughs> Everybody saying he's not the one for me Because you get another brother that you have for me Because saying papa get money You know send what I want to All you care about Now what thing you go get from this man no. Now bad guys don't show Now who them aside Now my guy you child. Oh, Bad guys don't show Say now who them aside oh. Now my guy you Tell me where your guy is. Wow. Neck 
Rebecca is drinking gin. Yes? <laughs> That's strange. Well, you almost gave me a heart attack, so I'm trying so hard to calm my nerves, if you don't mind. Well, well, I guess this will be the last time you'll be hanging out with me because by this time tomorrow, you will be Mrs. Neka Duncan Niwezi. So you're thinking that if that happens, I won't come to see you anymore? Mm hmm. Do you have money on you? I am so excited today. Seriously, I want to drink and drink and drink. Trust me. Ava, I didn't bring you here to come and drink. I brought you here to help me appeal to Kenny. I mean, he promised he was going to be my MC, and then now he's declining. Hey, listen. My decision was based on personal principle. Look, I've already discussed with the engineer at the studio, MC Akatoa. Trust me, he is a better MC than I am. Trust me. Are you not going to speak, or do you want me to end you here? Where is my daughter? Oh God. She says she's going to a city tavern. She's going to a city tavern to do what? Huh? I don't know. Okay, maybe she went there to drink. My daughter, my own daughter, went to a city tavern to drink? You are an imbecile. Get out of my sight! Cheers. Oh. Oh. Who are you avoiding? My dad. I don't want him to know I'm hanging out with you guys. So you see, you're getting used to marital life right now. Oh. Of course, yes. I mean, you're now being very conscious about who you hang out with and who you don't hang out with. Good thing. Thank you very much, but I think I need to use the ladies. I have to. Okay. Um, don't worry. Take it on to the right. Um, it's common with alcohol, okay? Whoa! Are you sure you're okay? Fine. Yeah, I'm good. Take it easy. Okay. I... I wanted to ask you something, but... Don't worry. Come on, let it out. Come on, go ahead. Are you saying you've been with her for three years now and um, you guys didn't do something? Like sleep with her? <laughs> oh, yes. Well, the answer is no. I didn't want to rush her. I hoped I was going to get married to her. Mm, married? Mm. So, finally, what happened? Shh. You will still be available for your wedding tomorrow. Behave yourself or we'll live through the back door. Move! So now move! Look, seriously, I don't get this. Tell me, how long does it take a human being to pee? Neka has been in there all day. Can you just please go into the ladies and find out what is wrong with her, please? All right, okay. Thank no you. Open up your mouth and tell me where my daughter is. Sam, 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 I said, Where is my daughter? I, I, I don't know what is going on. I saw blood. What? What the hell do you mean that you saw blood? Sir. Where is my daughter? Please, can you just spill it out? I don't know. Spill it out. Where is, is my daughter? I said, Where is she? I don't know anything. I don't know anything. We're all here together. And then she said she wanted to go and pee. Then I, she stayed up for so long. I told her to go to go and check up on her. Where is my daughter? Answer me. I don't know. I don't know. Where is my. 
I saw blood. Where is my daughter? Why is that you don't know where I don't know? Where is my daughter? to kidnap my daughter so that her marriage will not hold. But you listen to me. I will ensure that you rot away in custody. Chief, please, please, just, just hear me out. Hear me out, please. Look, officer, I know you're trained and you can tell when somebody's lying. I swear, this is a girl I love so much. Even though I'm not getting married to her, God knows I love her. I can never plan anything evil against her. No, Chief. Young man, listen. Let me advise you. Just obey and listen to Chief for your own good, okay? Listen to him. Shut up! He has perfected his plan. Hold on. Just listen and obey Chief. Yeah, hello. This is uh, Chief Mili Diobu of the City of Light. Who is this, please? Well, how quickly you react will determine if you're truly Chief Mili of Andy Obu or whatever of the City of Light. Hey, I don't know who you are. But whoever you are, I am in the middle of something serious. Please. I'm a madam. I am the problem. The very problem that threatens this city that is bedeviled by so many problems. I am the darkness that pervades this bloody city called City of Light. Listen to me, Chief. I have your daughter in my custody. Who do you think you are, you bastard? Do not imagine you are holding his daughter? Do you? <laughs> You know, many of those who die in custody die as a result of the stupidity of those of you who are outside feeling presumably free. I have no plans to kill your daughter, at least for now. But I will, if you force me to. And so your daughter will come out. She will have her wedding tomorrow. If you play this game, my own way. If you provoke me, Chief. If you provoke me and I kill this girl, you yourself will live to regret the remaining days of your life. Sir. Chief, 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 what? I am finished. Chief, what's the Chief, what what's is it? Chief, what is going on? Oh. Is there any problem? Finished. Excellent. <laughs> very, very sure he's going to react. From the tone of your voice, he's not going to sleep. I mean, one second, he's Let's going to react to that. Let's wait and see. Call him again. I have warned him to play this game my way. If your father plays this game well, oh, I'm gonna let you walk out of here and go and have a wonderful wedding with the idiot Casanova who has no respect for womanhood. But if your father plays stupid, if he brings out the beast in me, I will do the unthinkable. 
You know wise people don't think of the unthinkable, don't you? Please, can you call my father? Let me talk to him myself. This is my game, not yours. Not anyone else's. And come to think about it. Can your father pay me one billion? Yes. One billion naira for your ransom? I don't think my father has that much. But if you say something reasonable, I'm sure he'll pay. He'll gladly pay to get me released. He will. Something reasonable. I like this girl. You know, I like you. All right. You know what? I'm gonna take a walk and then look for the meaning of something reasonable. And I will be back. We are not hungry kidnappers. I personally have an account in London. So we are the big. Your father must be something reasonable for you to gain your freedom. Is that it? Children, one of a woman like me, kidnap a girl on the eve of her wedding. This is wicked. This is wicked. Oh God. My enemies are at work. But I am going to prove to them that I am Miri Diogu, Nkizizi of the City of Light. Oh yes, I am going to prove it to them. And you, I relied on my instincts. When I told the police officers not to arrest you, but if later I found out that you have a hand on this, you will regret the day you were born. Chief, I and Neka will go a long way. I mean, what we shared was special. I can never plan anything evil against her. Never. This must be the lousy idiot calling me with a hidden number. Uh, uh, sir, 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 please, I, 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 please plead to you. Just apply diplomacy here. They might go berserk and kill her if we don't. Please. Or if not, let me handle the negotiation. That, that, that's rubbish. Yeah, hello, Mr. Kidnapper. What are you doing with my daughter? I'm surprised that you haven't managed to impress me with your choice of words. I'd like to let you know that I have no conscience. I am the darkness that pervades this nonsense called the City of Light. And if you force me to kill your daughter, you will feel sorry for it. And, and you, 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 listen to me. I want to speak to my daughter. Or have you already killed her? Are you ready to play the game my way? What the hell do you mean play your game your way? Do you think you can mess around with my daughter in this town and get away with that? Don't you know whom you're speaking to? Chief, I'm sorry. Talk to him. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I, I'm standing in for him now. I'm in charge of the negotiations. Um, what do you want? Who are you? My name is Kenny. You see, the lady you have there is my friend. I don't joke with her at all. Are you that idiot called Duncan Iwese? No, no, not at all. I'm not Duncan. I'm just Kenny. Then pass the phone to the chief. I don't speak with idiots. Chief is the paymaster, and he is the one I want 
on the line. Well, well, I'm sorry, sir. Chief is traumatized at this point in time. I'm standing in for him, so just kindly talk to me and tell me what you want. <sighs> All right. What's the time there? 3.30. You start calculating two hours from now. Is that all you have to pack my 50 million naira together? That's the ransom. Uh, oh, come on. I mean, two hours to pay. I mean, that's... Hello? I got the phone. What did he say? We have a problem. Oh. Problem? What problem? Please spill it out. What did they say? What did they want? I beg you. What did they want? He said we only have two hours to provide 50 million. Oh. He must be an imbecile to think that I am going to make available that kind of money. Eh? That he's asking me to produce 50. He's an imbecile. Chief, please. Chief, please. My daughter is worth more than a billion naira. Please look for a way and say to them, let them release my little girl. Please, I beg you. Then provide it. Because provide it. <laughs> if your daughter is worth more than one billion naira, provide it now. <laughs> Could any of you tell her that the banks are closed? <laughs> eh? And even if the banks are open, I cannot provide that kind of money that oh. I asked for. <laughs> Chief, calm down. Calm down. I think you, you, you should call your in-law. Chief, he was cannot say he doesn't have 50 million naira. He can generate money from the airline. You don't understand the position now. Eh? Chief, he is built to fly in from Canada tomorrow for the wedding. So he is not in town and there's nothing he can do. In fact, there's no money. I beg you, Chief, please. Do something to release my little girl. I beg you. Hey, 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 hey. See, I am Chief Milidi Ogu. Hey. Eh? Ogu, Kutu, Don't worry. They're not going to do her anything. You, you speak as if you don't know who I am anymore. Fifty million, me. Fifty. Quiet from some of the employees of this hotel. And they confirmed to me that all you do is bringing different women into this hotel room on a daily basis. Do you have any problem with that? Huh? Listen, Jane, I'm a normal man, and it's only natural to want to sleep with a woman. I'm not gay. So why are you angry that I'm sleeping with a girl? You're not even denying it. Because I don't pretend. I don't front. Hey, come on, girl. I'm a realist. This is my hotel room, and I share this room with nobody. There's no reason. I mean, it doesn't make sense quarreling over nothing. Just tell me how much you care about. You get it. It's all about the asking. I'm beginning to get this nauseating feeling you're seeing me as a call girl. Some girl you can just call up and then she'll be in your bed. Is that what you think I am? I'm sorry, Jane, but we're debating into nonsense. Money talks, bullshit works. Just say your money and you got it for the asking. It's all about the Benjamin. I don't believe this. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Hello, ma'am. Good afternoon. Duncan, please, where are you? Uh, I'm in a board meeting right now, ma'am. Why did you ask? My little girl, Nega has been kidnapped. What? How could you say a thing like that? I mean, who? How? How did you? Who kidnapped her? We don't know who the kidnapper is. And we don't know why they kidnapped her. But our problem right now is that the bastards are asking for a ransom of 50 million lira. And Chief, my husband, said that he doesn't have such money. Tell your husband to involve the police immediately. Kidnappers are terrorists. And civilized people do not negotiate with terrorists. Please call the police. Does that mean that you're not coming? I'm not directly saying that, ma'am. Just that, um, um, I'm in the meeting, you know. My dad is not around. 
and I'm the chairman here and we have directors flying in from overseas and I'm wondering how I'm going to leave them to walk away. I'm sorry. Whatever. I never liked this boy. This boy never made sense to me. So I hate him. I hate him so much. It's okay. Listen, Duncan. I hate you. I hate you so much. I don't believe you look me in the eye and then you won't deny that you've been sleeping with other women. Jane, I remain the only guy you cannot afford to hate. Really? Okay. I don't blame you. I don't. I blame myself for coming. But I can promise you one thing. Once I walk through that door, you ain't never gonna see me again. Come, come, come here. What's wrong with you? See, wise girls do not argue with the money man. Just name your prize and you get it. You don't need any trouble, do you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He will surely call me before he leaves Canada. Is everything okay? We have a, a situation here. A very dicey one for that matter. What happened? The venue designer called me and everything is set for tomorrow. They have just kidnapped my daughter. Tell me you're joking. Unfortunately, I am not joking. Uh, the bastard that already introduced himself as uh, Amada is demanding for 50 million naira as ransom. So what are you waiting for? Arrange the money and give to them before they rape the girl. Oh. That's why I am calling you. Today is Friday. And you know, banks close early. And I don't have that kind of money at home. Then negotiate with them. Make them understand the pressure on time. They can't see 50 million naira and stand on it. You can beat the ransom down. And more importantly, you need to involve the police. Mm -mm. Involving police would be too risky. I, I wouldn't want them to kill my daughter. Uh, so how much are you giving me? Mm, let me check how much we have in the house. I'll call you back in 20 minutes. Okay, that'll be fine. I'll wait. Yeah, hello. It's 4.30 already. My guys are becoming impatient. Do, do, do you think that it is easy? Do you ever think that it is easy? Have you ever, have, have you ever made that kind of money before? You know, each time you open your gutter to talk, it's apparent you don't even love your daughter. I am going to prove to you that I love my daughter. And you are going to regret this. <laughs> Talk to them. Uh, um, yes, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry for that. Um, this is Kenny speaking. Please, we are making efforts to making sure that you get the money you require. Okay? Please. Meet me at the gate of the old cemetery. Oh, what are we coming there to do? I want to prove to that so-called chief Emily that men, mortal men, do not argue with masquerades. I'm going to prove to him that Time and time waits for no one. I want to educate you guys on the goddamn mystery of time. Oh, time. Time, time and time waits for no, no one. Look, mister, mister, you just have to calm down. There's no need to come in there. I mean, what are we coming there for? Because... Hello? Hello? This is bad. What is serious, man? Tell me, what did they say again? He said we should come to the gates of the old cemetery. Hey, hey. Oh, 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. 
What? What? That's, that's my daughter's dress. Her clothes? Oh, she's dead. She's dead. No, no, no. She's dead. Hey. She's dead. Oh. Come. Yeah, hello. Time. Time is the most expensive thing on earth. It is called the mystery of time. Look, you listen to me. You are digging your own grave. I mean, what you unleash to my innocent daughter is nothing but a mad dress rehearsal compared with what I'm going to do to you. And what you are seeing is a microcosm, a bet, just a little of what is going to happen to your daughter if you fail to give me what I want. Jeffamili, you still have time. It's five o'clock. Unless you want me to get mad. Are you saying that my daughter is still alive? Your daughter is still alive, but I may have to allow my boys to touch and taste the woman in her. No! No, please! Don't! Don't! don't no! No! There's a feeling so beautiful. What kind of nonsense question is that? Do we look like ritual killers to you? I don't know, but I don't understand why he took the clothes I was wearing. I don't know what he wants to do with them. Please, I don't want to die. Let me talk to my father. He'll give you all the money you need. We have only one business that we do, and that is to kidnap people and ask for ransom. Your wares were taken for the same business. Please, I beg you, just allow me to talk to my father for once. Shut up! Don't let me unleash the dragon. Because if I do, you'll be sorry. Look how when she's dressed. Yes. one who's really learned. You strike me like a graduate. I'm sure people lured you into crime, right? Yeah, you shut up! I am not as friendly as I look. You better dress up the way he asked you to dress up or I will lock you up like this. I... I can't wear my dress if you're here, sir. Can you just go out and give me one second to wear it? Leave the car for the car to leave. You must be an idiot to think that I will get my ass off you. You better dress up as he asks you to dress up or I will lock you up the way you are. Be fast about that. You have only one minute or I will lock you up the way you are. Be fast! I'm not joking here. Come on, dress up!
Give me. No, don't move. I'm not joking. Don't move. So you think you can walk in here, do this to me, and walk out of here free? Please. I don't know anything. You only brought me here. Let me go and nobody will hear about this. Okay, okay. You know you have a wedding. You have to bow to my supremacy. Give me that. No! You think I have your time? Don't come close to me. Don't come close to me. Don't, don't, don't come close to me. Okay, you know you have a wedding. You have to bow to my supremacy. Give me that. Uh If Solo is still alive, she's not as naive as we thought. Yeah. Mom, Chief is the one dragging this whole issue. Ah, how do you mean? Fifty million naira is nothing to him. He should have simply given them the money they asked for. And by now my friend would have been preparing for the wedding. You may be wrong. It's possible he doesn't have that kind of money they are demanding. You're not a child. You should have known by now that the economy is very tight. <coughs> Center. You saw Neka's clothes stained with blood. You thought she had died and you fainted. That's why you're here. Eh? Just relax, my dear. Just calm down. No. Relax, relax, my dear. My enemies are at work again. Nothing, nothing, nothing will happen. Why should they kill my dear? No, ma. No. Neka is not dead. They were just playing pranks on us. Yes, yes. Nothing happened to her. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Nothing happened. What is going on? Does it mean Chief Emile is dating Mrs. Ziweze? No, I don't want to believe this. But why would they go upstairs? What are they playing at? Please don't start. Just don't start, please. Come on. Please. I don't do this. Please, sorry. I don't want to finish. Of course, this is not the right time for this. Okay? My daughter has just been kidnapped. And my wife is hospitalized. Even your son, who is supposed to wed my daughter tomorrow, is off communication. And he is not getting involved. Can't you see that this is not the right time for sex? I'll do it at the right time, as usual, okay? Thank you, Gladys. Hmm? The money I gave you will secure the release of your daughter. Mm -hmm. You have Just tried. give it to me before that bastard counts. Mm -hmm. Please, please, you please. Know, please. Yeah, hello? Pass that phone to Kenny. He is the only one who knows how to talk. Please, my dear. It's my daughter that is in custody. You are custody. Kenny is not part of my family. Reason. Can't you understand? Pass that phone to Kenny. Or you will never see that same daughter of yours again. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please don't hurt her. Don't kill her for me, eh? Let, give me just three minutes. Just exactly three minutes. I would have gotten to Kenny and given this phone. Please, please. Let me go to Kenny and give him the phone. He will talk with you. Three minutes. Hey, 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 Chief. You know, I have this strong feeling that you are a woman in your other world. You talk too much. Honey, let me, let me just give this phone. I'll be back. I'll be right back. Please, huh? Please. Kenny! Kenny!
This lousy idiot has run down my battery, so I had to put my sin into this. I know they will call again. They will soon call again. Maybe in the next two seconds. Oh, that's him. Tech, you have become their favorite. Yes, sir, I am still loyal. Hmm. I was thinking that we would have concluded this business by day. But you have dragged it into the night. I don't have a problem with that. Because I, I am an apostle in the kingdom of darkness. Well, I can't forget that in a hurry. So what do you want me to do, sir? Can you swear on your life that you love this girl? Sir, she's the best thing that has ever happened to me. I can even lay down my own life for her. Trust me, sir. Good. Very good. <laughs> I want us to meet face to face. Where? There's an abandoned factory on kilometer 22 off Onicha Oweri Expressway. Meet me there at the Valley's department. And so how do I get to the factory? You will be directed. And mark you, if you come, or even think of coming with policemen to arrest anyone, my boys who are watching over this girl will simply put a bullet in her head. Come to the factory, be directed to the valley's department, and we will talk business. I perfectly understand. What did he say? He wants us to meet for a meeting at a particular factory. I want us to go together. This night? Is it not risky? I mean, can't it wait till tomorrow? What are you talking about? It's my own daughter that is in custody. Eh? Let's go. What? We have to go. Wasted so much time. We, 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 are, we are so so sorry. Uh, um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, are you the one leading us to the valley department, please? Who among you is Kenny? Of course, I know you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Listen to me, please. I beg you, listen to me. I was not a part of this arrangement, okay? I was called by Kenny and I followed. That's, that's all happened. The thing is, we did not approach them with any plan for option B, and it turned out to be a terrible mistake. What? What are you saying? And why is Chief not picking his calls? Hello, what, what else do you want me to say? What else do you want me to say? I don't know how to say this again, madam. I'm, I'm, what? Look, madam, we, we are turning the meeting, okay? They end up, up kidnapping Chief and Kenny. Where I'm standing, I'm totally confused. I don't know what to do. I've checked for Key, uh, Kenny and, and, and Chief all over the place. I don't know. I don't know how to find them. I'm confused. I'm totally confused. Jesus. 
Nossa! What did you say now? I'm pursuing the business of my life. The kind of business that gives me joy. Okay. Your wedding is tomorrow. Your wife-to-be has been kidnapped since money. What kind of master's business are you doing that you can't go and see the parents? Chief, Mili cannot say he doesn't have the money to bail his or pay his daughter's ransom. Why can't you be reasonable for once? Maturity by going to the house, make them see that you are bothered. What is wrong with you? Mom, I'm still available for the event. Pronto. Huh? If they have a family problem, they should go solve it. They should leave me out of their family problem. I'll see you tomorrow when I come back in the morning. Good night, Mom. Hello? But if you ask me, I'll tell you this. That Amada guy doesn't want to kill anybody. All he just wants is money. Then why then did he seize my husband? Doesn't he know that he's the one that will provide the money that they are requesting for? I have a call, please. Hello, ma. I'm finished. They have also kidnapped Chief. You're not serious. How did it happen? They went for a meeting I heard you kicked against. They seized him and Kenny. But they have released Kenny. That's he holding my husband. I called actually to tell you that I gave your husband the hundred thousand dollars concerning this issue. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much and God bless you. But Ma, I wonder why Duncan has not bothered to call to know what is going on. I know how you feel. Duncan is just a problem. He has the pain chart to play down on virtually everything. I'm sure he'll still come around. You don't need to worry. It's okay. But please Ma, I need a favor from you. Could you please involve the officers? Yes, and use your contact to involve the anti-terrorism patrol. I mean the ones located around the airport. Exactly what I told your husband, but he wouldn't listen. Anyway, I will call the officer straight away. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Yeah. <sighs> Kenny. You just had a discussion I had with Mrs. Siweze. She said she gave my husband a whooping sum of $100,000. Please, my dear, do you know where it is? I don't know. But I have a plan to give the kidnappers fake dollars. I mean, we can't just enrich kidnappers with $100,000. Come on. Seriously, Kenny, you must be out of your mind. Do you want them to kill my friend? Ah. How in the world would you even mess the stupid idea of paying criminals with, with fake, fake dollars? I'm sorry, Father, but I must tell you the only reason we are still here is because you are extremely stingy. Extremely. You are stingy, Father. Extremely. How can you say that? That's very, very uncharitable for you to say. I was making efforts to arrange for the money, and I've already arranged 
$120,000. Yes, before they invited us to this face-to-face -face meeting that brought me here. Eh? Do not forget that I still remain merely the noble kids of the city of light. I can never become stingy. Eh? Not even where you are involved. How can I? I have the money. Tell me, what is your exact plan for the night? Because if your father plays this game well, you will still be available and alive to attain your wedding tomorrow. So tell me, what is your plan? You already have my daughter. I want you to realize that I love her so much. Yeah, just release me, let me go, and arrange for this money before the day breaks. Please. Can I go? What's the ransom? 15, mi 15 million naira. 15 million naira. It could be more, but definitely not in less. Let me go for the money. Chief, I am pleading with you not to misunderstand me. They released you because they want you to come and arrange the ransom. Think about Neka's freedom and do the right thing. The bastards want me to pay a whooping 50 million naira. Do you know what 50 million naira is? Sir, I know that 50 million naira is a huge sum of money. But Neka is worth more than that. Seriously, she won't be happy if she comes out and finds out that you value money more than her freedom. Of course, I value my daughter's freedom more than anything in the world. I met the woman who is attending to her in custody and she gave me assurance that she will not be raped. I agree with you that 50 million naira is quite a huge sum of money. But my daughter, is worth more than that. Have it. That's the one calling. Huh? Where is the money? With me here in the car. I'm sending someone to pick it up. You better keep that fucking phone close to your ears. We've come with the dollar equivalent of the demanded ransom. So where's the money? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry sir, your, your girl is leaving. I, I, I don't see my girl anywhere. Don't bother me about that. Your girl will appear shortly. You'll see her shortly.
man has bought his own coffin. What is the problem, Duncan? What are you thinking? Why have you developed sudden cold on the marriage? Why? Well, I got interested in the first place because a friend of mine said she's original, pure, and down to earth. Now that her chastity is gone, I am marrying that girl. I don't understand what you mean by all that is gone. I mean. Mom, you're my mother, yes, but I want you to know you don't know anything about me. I lived all my life hanging out with criminals in LA, Sicily, Brooklyn. Oh, here we go again, Duncan, shut up. I want you to shut up and stop reminding me of your very ugly past life. We are talking about the future. I'm sorry, Dad, but you must listen to me. Dad, there's no way criminals will hang out with that girl overnight that they won't rape her silly. You must have raped her thoroughly. And I'm not going to marry a girl that's... I mean, you know what she made that, aren't you? On that submission of yours, you are very wrong. How can you say that, Mom? What do you know about criminal operations? There's no way they wouldn't have raped that girl thoroughly that night. They would have raped her silly. And you don't wish me that. Don't come. I was with them in the hospital when Dr. Leonard examined her after she was released and confirmed that she's still a virgin. You're not serious, are you? Of course, I'm not kidding. She is still a virgin. That's why we fixed a new date for the wedding. So what are you talking? Well, I got interested in that girl because a friend of mine said she's original, pure, and down to earth. But now that all that is gone, I am marrying that girl. Are you telling me that if she's not a virgin, you will marry her? I'm naturally attracted to virgins, so let that be. Let's, Let's go. go. Nega. How come that? Nega, the wedding planner called me to say that you've not called her, as I instructed, and I ask you why. I don't know any wedding planner, and I don't know who is getting married. Nega, why are you doing everything to provoke me? Why? Eh? Are you not the same person that I told that your wedding with her Duncan in West has been fixed for the seventh of next month? Are you not the same person? Why are you behaving as if you don't understand what I'm saying? Dad, I have tolerated enough. I am not about to tolerate more. I am not getting married to Duncan Wesley. I will not. I will so not get married to Duncan. I will not. Neka! Neka, you come back here! Come back here, Neka! My God. What has come over this girl? Huh? A contract of uh, 10 billion naira is hanging out of here! Love is a feeling so beautiful that bounce outside. Money can't buy love, it don't matter how much you've got. Love is a feeling so beautiful that bounce outside. Thank heavens that you are here. Now, I want you to listen to me. Talk to your daughter. Talk to her and tell her that her marriage to Duncan has been fixed again and that there's no going back. If you hear me? Oh, for Christ's sake, can you do less of a man and listen to her for once? Listen to her for what? Eh? Now at least come back here and tell me why I should listen to her. Talk to her. Just talk to her. Tell her that I have found a son of a billionaire that will marry her. Tell her that there is excess money, enough money that she would have to play around with. Talk to her. She must marry him. There's no going back to that. Really? Sweetheart, can you at least consider your daughter, I mean our daughter's happiness? What, at all? what nonsense happiness? What nonsense happiness? Eh? What, what, what exactly do we want for? 
in this world. Is it not money? And when there is money, every other thing is guaranteed, oh, please. including your son. Oh, wait, I just wait. With due respect to you, I disagree to that. Please. So you've grown up to challenge my wisdom, eh? Maybe I should ask you this question, Alice. What is it that we work for in this world, if not money? The fact that you married me, is it not money? Money! And how have we even managed to keep this relationship on till this hour? It's money. Money! Right? It's money! Alright. Maybe I should also ask you, why am I known in this city of light? Why does everybody know me? It's not only for what I do, but money! I donate generously. Money! Talk to her. Tell her that she has enough money to play around with. Excess money. And we need money for continuity. We need for money, man, we need money in this family for continuity. Otherwise, I will make sure that you forget all that I've been giving to you. Money! Money at least! Talk to her. It must be money. Otherwise, You just have to forget about me. Go ahead and move on with your life. Don't wait for me because it's never going to happen. Why? Kenny, why? I love you. You're the only man I see in this whole world. I can't live without you. Yes, you can. Come on, Aneka, please. I mean, even though your father thanked me for the role I played during your kidnap, he still warned me, saying I should stay away from you. He'll be monitoring me all the way. Come on. I mean, you know your father is a rich and influential man in the city. And he has the wherewithal to know every single move I make. Just go ahead and marry this man they have found for you. Marry Duncan. Because if not for the kidnap, you would have been married to him by now. Kenny, heaven knows that I was forced into an unpopular marriage and he used criminals to stop it. I love you. I want to marry you or no one else. You're the only one I love. Don't you no, understand? You have to stop. No, no, no. Stop this. Move. Said move. What are you doing? Madam, please. Sergeant, please. take her away. Madam, please, let's. I am go, not please. going anywhere. Please, 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 please. Move. Follow Madam, that. please respect yourself and let's leave. Madam, let's Get your hands off me. This way. Please, My handbag. Look at what. Don't you, don't you dare touch it. Madam, respect us and leave this place. Get away from me. Move. And you, remember what I told you before? I am still monitoring you every step. Stay away from my daughter! How much do you want? For? How much do you want me to pay you for your efforts? I want you to stay away from my daughter! Did you get that? Sir, so seriously, you can ask your daughter. You can ask her. I was even begging her to go ahead and marry the man you chose for her. Please, I can never do anything to stop her wedding, no. Now shut up! Shut that trap! Shut it up! Follow my instructions. If you dare me, you will regret. Definitely, the day you were born. Let us go. Love is a feeling so beautiful that runs inside. Oh. Neka, no one will come out for me. I'm just a poor boy who is trying to leave. Please, I don't want to die now. God Almighty, that you serve will not allow anything happen to you. He won't let you suffer unjustly. Listen, I just want to have your word that you will stand by me 
and you won't believe me or turn your back against me. Neka, there are forces against our union, okay? There are forces against our love. And I am on the receiving end. Please, if you love me, just kindly allow me to live a normal life. I do not want to face your father again. My father will be willing to give you five million naira if you tell him you want to leave me. So what are you saying in essence? I want you to collect the money. You want me to collect the money and leave you for real? You have to be mature in this. You never can tell when a good opportunity passes you by. Listen, just tell my father that you've called it quits with me. It'll all be a front, as you and I know we are willing to stand together till the end. Promise me you'll do this for me. Neka, you have to give me time to think about this. No, Kenny. No time to think about this. Promise me you'll go to his office tomorrow and collect the money. I promise. I love you. I love you too. Good night. Good night. Your father gave me five million naira. <laughs> Duncan in turn gave me another three million naira. Is that all he gave you? Yeah. I mean, I was so surprised Duncan giving me three million. You see, this is why I don't like that guy. He just lies too much. Can you believe he told me he gave you ten million naira as settlement? No, no, no. He gave me three million. I mean, the money is there. In the bag under my bed, three million. It's okay. Honestly, I must say I'm happy for you. I mean, with eight million naira, you can rent for yourself a good flat and, and even open your studio. And I thank you so much. <laughs> you are. Oh my God. My father's security men mm -hmm. seem to be following me around these days. Well, I haven't touched you, I haven't kissed you, I haven't hugged you. So I have done nothing wrong. And what if you hug me? <laughs> you said everybody's saying he's not the one for me. Because you get another brother that you have for me Because saying papa get money, you know send what I want to All you care about and what you go get from this man no. Now bad guys don't show, now who they my side Now my guy you, no, bad guys don't show, say now who they my side Because I wanted you all to know why I'm a thorough professional. I had the golden opportunity to terminate her virginity, but I let her go. I let that girl go 
out of my custody still a virgin? And what did I get in return? You paid me with fake dollars! <clears throat> and you got the police to come for me. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. It wasn't our idea. It was Kenny that brought the idea to pay you with fake dollars. Oh. Please. It was Mrs. Iweze, the brother brought in the anti-tourism patrol from the airport. It wasn't our idea. Oh. I beg you, I'll pay you in the check! I've already settled for what you will pay me. I will take it in kind. Stand up. Come on, get up. Stand this way. This way. Stand here. <laughs> now you're going to respect yourself and take off every damn thing that you have on you. I am going to take you with this digital camera. Please let me go, please. I beg you. I will Thank blow you. your head up if you don't shut up. Shut up! Now, you take off every single thing that you have on you. Every damn thing you have on your body and your waist. And I'm going to take you naked for this digital camera. Come on, come on, come on! If you do it, I blow your head up! I told you all that I am the original problem of this city of problems. <laughs> you mess with me. Please. At least you guys could have allowed me to clean up. You entered me, both of you, without protection. Come on, shut up! Come on, shut up! Shut up! Shut up. Now, let me tell you. Everything we did has been recorded. And if you tell anyone that we did that to you, I'm going to sell this tape to some guys who will mass dub it for public consumption. Come on, get down! Move! Come on, move! Um, no, I, I wanted to come to the front. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. All right. Oh, yeah. So, um... <coughs> I never trusted you. from this field. I have been humbled by criminals. God. 
where do I go from here? God, please, do I go? <sighs> Darling, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, to date, I'm, I'm still surprised I'm living in my own comfortable flat. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm, I don't know what to say. The good thing is, I gave you an advice and you listened. I must say I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Thank you, darling. Thank <laughs> you. Honey. Oh. About your friend, Ego. Yes? I'm seriously having negative thoughts about her. Why? I mean, to date, she keeps calling me, telling me I gave the criminals fake dollars and that I was acting like a superman with her friend. If I'm to deduce logic from that, honey, I will be having negative feelings about her. Hey, Dad, what's up? Yes, I'm at uh, Martini Restaurant and Bar, where I'm having my lunch. Would you want to join me? Uh I mean, like, right away, I'll, I'll be there right away. All right, that'll be fine. I'll be waiting for you. Bye. <laughs> I gotta go. My dad just invited me over for lunch, and I have to hurry. Quick, if I don't have to see you to the floor. Sure, thank you. <laughs> I am so proud of you. You said No sin shall go unpunished. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. What do you want from me? I'm sure you know your life means nothing to me. One second I'll waste it. I'll give you two days. Just two days to put my 50 million naira together. Right? If you try any nonsense with me. If you fuck up like you did before, I will end your life on earth. I will kill your wife. I will kill your daughter. And I will kill you slowly. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me as if you don't know what I'm saying? That's the truth. I don't know what you are saying. What are you saying? Sweetheart. Yes. So you're keeping another woman apart from me. What? I am very, very disappointed in you. Seen it in like this. How could you? You invited Neka for lunch in a restaurant. She came there before the cleaner could clean the table. Mm -hmm. She met a plate of an unfinished meal directly opposite you on the same table. I am sure whoever she was must have sighted my daughter coming 
and decided to hide. Just tell me how you want or how you're going to deny this. Just tell me how. I am facing the dilemma of my life. And what do you mean by that? Honey, the plate of food Neka saw was actually abandoned by that bastard that calls himself Amada. What? Are you serious? Of course I am telling you the truth. He made a sudden appearance today before me. What does he want? He insists that I pay the ransom of uh, 50 million naira, or he is going to kill all of us, and that I have just two days to do that. Otherwise, he's prepared to kill all of us. Before I deflower you with iron. I haven't done anything wrong, please. I beg you, please. Now listen. Your parents paid me with fake dollars. And you know about it! The time I gave to your father to pay me my money has expired. And I'm about to go berserk! Don't go berserk, please. And if I go berserk, I will kill your mother. And I will take your father slowly. Yeah. Until he goes to hell. Tell him that! Yes, I will. I will. I will. Come on. Come on. Did you find out how he knew you were in that supermarket? No. No. I mean, he was like a spirit. Before I knew what was happening, he had taken me with him. There's something that baffles me about that character. Up till today, the security and management of Torista Hotel have not managed to explain to the police how a man that was carrying a gun found himself into the hotel premises. Eh? That bastard would be with his blood this time. Have you heard the news, Dad? What news? Duncan's father has been arrested by the EFCC for money laundering and embezzlement of public fund. His account has been frozen. Even the airline has been grounded. What? Ne, who told you that? Kenny saw it on the news and called me. I even confirmed it myself. If you doubt me, put on the TV. Underneath, you'll see there's a breaking news. The family is into fraud. to me so you have to come out I have no time for greedy women sorry I beg your pardon did you just call me a greedy woman 
Do you know how much I gave you? I gave you 10 million. 10 million naira. 10 million what? What is 10 million naira compared to 50 million naira that you were paid? I hired you for this operation. And the formula we adopted from the beginning was 50 50. You're singing. You're just blabbing. Are you aware or are you blind and deaf to the fact that Solo, James and Anita are still in detention? When they come out, I bet you have to settle them. That responsibility is mine. I will have to settle them. Where is your exact location? We need to see eyeballs to eyeballs and sort things out. All right, okay, okay. You know what I want you to do? I heard you now have a car you're living life. Just listen. Why don't you just enjoy yourself? And stop looking for me. Answer. You mean Ego is amongst the criminals? I told you she was a suspect, right? How do you know? Well, now you see the private detective in me. Lord, I mean, can I ever trust anyone? Ego is such a betrayer. Piling up lies against my father. Oh, well, my love, you might not trust anybody. But you know you can trust one person for sure. Me. Absolutely, absolutely. But sincerely, as in honestly, and even you could tap people's lines? Well, she forced me to do it. It takes nothing really. Just grease the palms of the chief telephone engineer and you'll be tapping anyone's line you want to tap and monitor the person. My God. You? How much sure you haven't been tapping my line and monitoring me? Oh, my love, I know you too well that it will amount to a waste of my time and resources to tap your line and monitor you as well. I love you, baby. I love you. Okay. Let me see. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, let's go. You don't want her seeing you now. We'll deal with this later. Let's just go. Just a peep. Hey, let's go. To peep. Let's go. Let's go. You see, Duncan, what you're facing now is the other side of the coin. See, we have been living in that side of life ever since. So you, can, you can just afford to kill yourself all because things went the other way. It can get better, you know? You see, this whole thing happened at a point when I felt... I mean, I was beginning to feel permanently on top. And the frustrating thing was my father had just cleared the company's account order for a new aircraft. And suddenly he was arrested and we went underground got grounded. So I speak to you now, man. I'm nothing. I have nothing. Is that why you're sounding so depressed? You don't have to sound like that. Don't talk like a woman. You are a man. The most important thing is that you are physically fit. See, when I found myself in your situation, do you know what I did? I gathered everything I could lay my hands on to purchase for myself a taxi. And that's where I started. And today I'm not regretting my life. What an option. Yes. That's that's a driver. <laughs> You've got to start from somewhere. You know, I was excited when you called and told me oh, that you wanted to see me. I, I began to think that uh, you were going to give to me what I didn't take by force. Now you're in my room, just the two of us, and you're resisting me. Why? I actually came to show my appreciation, to give you something I'm just certain you will like, as a token of my appreciation for sparing my virginity through the long day and night. Thank you. Ooh. Hmm. What exactly are you talking about? Why don't you come with me downstairs? No, well, it's certainly something you like. <laughs> Tell me exactly why you're here. Or I'll blow your brain! 
Where's I? I told you before, and I'm telling you again, that you are under arrest for criminal kind of violence. And will you shut up your mouth? Mom. My darling. I'm here. Oh. You're bringing me out. Good. I told you that your sins will find you out. And it has. You bastard. I am not a pretender. I am ready to face whatever lies ahead of me. I am who I am. The darkness and the city of light. You said everybody's saying he's not the one for me. Because you get another brother that you have for me. Because saying Papa get money. You know, send what I want to All you care about Now what thing you go get from this man no. Now bad guys don't show Now who they my side Now my guy you Jai. Bad guys don't show Say now who they my side oh. Now my guy you Bad guys don't show Tell me where your guy Nowhere where to be found no. bad, guys. bad guys don't show Tell me where your guy oh. Nowhere to be found no. It don't matter how much you've got Love is a feeling so beautiful that bounce inside Money can't buy love It don't matter how much you've got Love is a feeling so beautiful that bounce inside You said everybody's saying he's not the one for me Because you get another brother that you have for me Because saying papa get money You know send what I want to All you care about and what thing you go get from this man oh. 